It's 9 p.m. on the Place de la République in Paris, and this man is refusing to leave his tent. While most did not resist the police advance, he was one of several to be dislodged by force. After seizing their tents, security forces later used tear gas to disperse the refugees and their supporters. We don't have any uh, place to live, we don't have any place to sleep, and it's too necessary for us in this weather, and this, uh, that uh, the weather is coming, it's getting cold, and we need somewhere to sleep. Earlier in the night, volunteers helped around 500 migrants set up on the iconic public square after a camp north of the capital was evacuated last week. La deuxième chose qu'on demande, c'est de cesser euh, ce cycle infernal des campements qui se forment, qui sont évacués, souvent dans la violence, qui se reforment. Footage of the violence used by police officers quickly spread on social media, including one video showing a journalist on the ground after being knocked over. Interior Minister Gérald Darmanin said the scenes were shocking and has ordered a police report on the clearance. It comes after the government approved an amendment that would restrict the publication of police officers' faces. Unions say this could give police a green light to prevent journalists from documenting abuses.